Hi, I'm Sarah from Stampin' Up! and today I'm here to help you create your No Matter the Weather card kit. Here's what our projects will look like when we're finished. I'm going to leave them here on the table so you can have them for reference. Here's everything you'll need to complete your projects. Most everything is in your kit, but you may also need some scissors, and don't forget your printed instructions. By separating and sorting your elements by project, you'll be totally set up for success. If you have any questions about the products I use in this video, feel free to check out our What's What in Your Kit video linked in the description below. For me, it's easier to create one project at a time. Now that we're set up for success, let's get started. I prefer to do my stamping first. Stamp before you stick. Stamping can be intimidating at first, but don't worry, we've got this. We'll need our block, stamp set, and ink spot. Place your desired stamp on your block, open your ink spot, and we're good to go. For a clear image, you'll want to ink your stamp well. All it takes is a few good taps across the entire image. If you want to practice first, go ahead and stamp a time or two on your chipboard. When you're ready to stamp, ink your image, line it up, and press down firmly and evenly. And there you go. You'll need to stamp multiple images, so just grab a wet cloth, paper towel, or baby wipe to clean your stamp and put it back on your stamp sheet. For more tips on stamping, check out our How to Stamp video linked in the description. Now that we've stamped everything, we're ready to adhere it all together and embellish our project. Use adhesive dots for adding flat images or dimensionals for added height. Your instructions are a great resource for seeing what adhesive is used where. Now there are lots of pieces, but that's okay. We have our trusty instructions to show us exactly where to put everything for each individual project. As we go through each project, feel free to refer to your instructions or pause or rewind the video as we go along. It's totally okay to craft at your own pace. For these cards, we'll need to cut lengths of twine. The measurements are shown on your instructions for each card. And there's also a helpful ruler on the side of your instructions. So we'll need, a, we'll cut 11 inches for the first card, the second card, and 32 inches for the third.
Look at these beautiful cards. Now our cards may not look exactly the same and that's totally okay. Your personal touch and creativity is what makes them special. I'm excited to share these cards with people that I care about and I hope you'll share yours as well. If you liked crafting with the kit today, we have more kits to choose from at stampinup.com. Click shop product and then kits collection to find your next creative experience. Enjoy. Enjoy.